Dude, Donald's the worst. I hate this so much. I want to do anything else. I know, me too. I have two on Tuesday. I'm totally going to bother them. Oh my god, I know. Hey, what's that over there? What? The wild weedle! Oh my god! We have to catch it. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, I'll try and corner it. I'll go over there. Okay. I'm gonna tell you while I'm catching this, right? Okay. You're not on the way, I don't know. Okay. Look! No! <laughs> I catch that, not me! Go, Tessa! Oh, guys! Alright, yo, we got it! Let's check it on the deck! Woo! This is Weedle a bug-type Pokemon. The stinger on its head is used to protect itself from predators. Despite the sharp stinger, the Weedle at this stage is fairly defenseless. Its odd coloration is another defense mechanism against predators. At this stage in its development, Weedle will consume its daily weight in leaves and molt into several larval instars. As the Weedle continues its rapid growth, its inner structures will press up against the exoskeleton and cause the release of ecdysone. High levels of ecdysone, coupled with levels of juvenile hormone, will cause the weedle to molt into its other larval instars. Once the weedle larva has grown to an appropriate size, ecdysone will again be released, but this time it will be coupled with low concentrations of the juvenile hormone and this will cause Weedle to transform into a Kakuna. Kakunas are the inactive pupil stage of the Weedle. They will attach themselves to a tree and stay there until their evolution is complete. At this stage, they are fairly inactive. Inside the Kakuna, the bug soup will continue to excrete ecdysone, but there will be no juvenile hormone being secreted. This will cause the Kakuna to break open and emerge as a Beedro. Beedrill is the final evolutionary stage of this Pokemon. Beedrill has two sets of membranous wings it uses to fly. It also has one set of antennae and two sets of legs. Beedrill also has three stingers, two on its front legs and one on its abdomen. It uses these stingers as a way to defend itself and its hive. The stingers are highly venomous and Beedrill uses them to kill its victims before taking them back to the hive for consumption. The evolutionary process of the Beedrill is known as holometabolous development or complete metamorphosis. It is important to note that the personality of the Weedrill to Kakuna to Beedrill is subject to some change. Weedrill's a bug Pokemon. Oh, what? Those suck. We should just release it. No, because after it goes through complete metamorphosis, it's going to turn into Beedrill, which is a badass Pokemon. What? Beedrill? Yo, those ones are sick. All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Over. Yeah. Wait, just sorry, you should get a little closer. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, yeah, we got it. Tessa, you're supposed you're, to be on the same. You just said the killer. Turns out it's a bug Pokemon. Oh, what bug type? Those suck. We should release it. No, it's going to turn into Beedrill once it goes through. Damn it. <laughs>